Good evening, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I have a dream to share with you that was given to me by the Lord on November 3rd um, of this year, 2013. I ask you please to use your discernment to please um, pray to the Lord Almighty, to the Holy Spirit, for discernment regarding my dream. Thank you. I wanted to forewarn you ahead of time that there is some graphic content, content that I witnessed in the dream that perhaps might be disturbing for you to listen to and to read, but the Lord prompted me to share this information with you. In the dream, the Lord showed me a large group of people that were partying, drinking, laughing, joking, acting carelessly, carelessly at this gathering. In another scene, I saw people going to and fro to work in their cars, walking and arriving to their place of employment like any other day. Suddenly, in the stream, the Lord allowed me to feel the tremors of an earthquake right under my feet. I immediately felt the vibration and the shaking of the earth right under me. I was not afraid in the dream because the Lord was protecting his beloved bride. The earth began to shake to and fro like a drunkard. I began to see the people running, screaming, scrambling, fearful, and trying to escape from the falling building. The people were frantic, running for their lives in every direction. Cars on the road were stalled and could no longer move. Buildings were falling right before their eyes. The earth was shaking to and fro and back and forth. It was frightening to witness this in the dream but the Lord wanted me to see what is going to be happening to the earth because of all the evil and wickedness of its inhabitants and not wanting to follow the commandments of the Lord and repenting and living a righteous life the way God had ordained it to be. Trees were down, everything was blowing everywhere, chaos in the city, streets, people losing their minds, people in the buildings, that they were working in were taking the elevators trying to escape. Everything was happening so fast there was very little time to react and escape from the horror of this earthquake. There were people so scared that they just fainted and fell to the ground in grief. It's as if their hearts just stopped beating. People were dying everywhere and there were those that were just paralyzed in fear and could not move. The city, cars, and people were in a standstill and could not go anywhere. Every building was collapsing and shaking and falling like a deck of cards. There was nowhere to escape to, for there was destruction everywhere you turned. In another scene of the dream, I was walking and I sat down beside a young man that was in shock and afraid. I went to go over to speak to him because the Lord instructed me to in my spirit. I asked him, are you okay? Of course he was frightened and bewildered but by what was happening around him. He was not hurt but was sitting down on the sidewalk, just paralyzed in fear and could not move. I asked him then, do you know the Lord Jesus Christ? He answered, I used to know him, but I have backslidden from him for a while now. I asked him, would you like to come back to the Lord and recommit your life? as to his ways, and make him your Lord and Savior? He thought about it for a moment, and then he answered yes. I went ahead and had him pray the sinner's prayer, salvation prayer, and he received the Lord in his heart. He repented of his sins and wanted a new beginning with the Lord Jesus Christ as a Savior. And then that was the end of the dream. So please use your discernment. Um, the Lord is giving warning after warning after warning after warning. He is trying to wake up the sleepers. He has been trying to wake up those that have not seeked him, to wake up those that have not accepted him in his heart, that have not accepted the, the free gift of salvation. Now is the time, tomorrow, will be too late. 
for we do not know the hour or the day that the Lord is coming for us. Please, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, please do it today. I have attached um, several scriptures that the Lord led me to, and also the sinner's prayer, if you would like to, you know, to pray the sinner's prayer and accept Jesus Christ into your heart. Today is the day of salvation. Thank you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. God bless you. And thank you for listening. Good night.